Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and everyone else, welcome. Welcome back. Welcome to howtoplaythesax.com. My name is Matthew, and what I wanted to do today is give you a quick saxophone maintenance tip. Every now and then, on a saxophone, things occasionally go wrong. It's a complex piece of equipment, a, a saxophone. There's lots of rods, there's lots of springs, there's lots of pads, there's lots of things that can stick or not stick as the case may be. But the fairly common thing that goes wrong with the saxophone is a sticky G sharp key. A sticky G sharp key. It's the same on an alto, it's the same on a tenor sax, soprano sax, barry sax, pick a saxophone, G-sharp keys are notoriously sticky. I don't know why that is, it just is. Let's just accept that. G-sharp keys get stuck. So what do I mean by getting stuck? When you play a G-sharp, you have your three fingers, one, two, three, and then your pinky, this top, this top key here. Sticky G-sharp keys mean that when you press this top key with your pinky, nothing happens. You're supposed to play a G, that sounds like a note. Then you chain, you press the G-sharp key, and nothing happens, the note doesn't change. That's irritating because you're going, hang on, I pressed it, why didn't it change? Why, what's going on? Ha, sticky G-sharp key. It is really hard to see up close on camera, but when you press the G-sharp key, See this guy here? I'm pressing it with my pinky. This guy, it opens and closes, opens and closes. So by pressing that, it opens, G sharp, close, G. Open, G sharp, close, G. Every now and then, you will notice that I can still, I can put my finger on this key and hold it down, still press the key with my pinky, and it doesn't open. Open, close. So if it sticks, that's what happened. That's what's happening. So how do you fix that? Sticky G sharp key. You need to, unfortunately, support the tobacco industry. I'm really sorry. I hate smoking. Smoking's bad for you. Do not smoke ever. Smoking is really bad. It'll kill you. It'll kill your family. It'll kill your friends. And it's really expensive anyway. But the problem is to fix your sticky G sharp key. The best way to do that is by using Roll your own cigarette wrappers. So what I am suggesting, this just happens to be, it doesn't matter a brand, forget the brand. It's little roll your own cigarette papers. It's a little packet, it's about as big as your finger. Rollies. You need to go down to the local tobacconist, maybe that's your that's your supermarket, maybe that's your drugstore, wherever, the milk, milk bar or the dairy or whatever where you buy cigarettes, well, no, sorry, where not where you buy cigarettes, where other strange people who smoke, where they buy cigarettes, sorry if you do smoke, but hey, smoking's bad for the inside of your saxophone as well as the inside of you. Cigarette wrappers, cigarette roll your own, go and buy a packet. It'll cost you 20 cents, 25 cents, 10 cents, 50 cents, it costs nothing. Now, the thing about cigarette wrappers is they are very absorbent and they are very, very, like very, very fine sandpaper. Here is a cigarette roll your own wrapper. So what we need to do is you take it out of the, um, grab a little rolly. Here's one, I've taken one out. What you need to do is on your saxophone, this is probably easier if you are sitting down with your sax on your lap, maybe sit on the couch or the sofa, maybe sit on a chair, put your saxophone on your lap. Doing it standing up is a little bit tricky, so I apologize if I stumble and bumble. You can see which key it is, and again, it's difficult to see on camera, but it is this. Under your ring finger, you can see, you can see, um, bear with me, there is, immediately under, there is one pad. Immediately under that, there is two pads. This third pad here, this is the G-sharp key. You can see it raising on mine, but if yours is stick, is sticky, that one doesn't open. So what you need to do is manually, with your fingers, maybe with your fingernails, pry it open, pry it open, don't force it, but it might just go and unstick. You get your cigarette rolly, and I'm struggling here, I'm sorry with 
with on camera holding this up with one hand and doing it with the other hand um, you get your cigarette wrapper and you carefully feed it in feed it in sometimes it's easier from the other side yes it is you feed the feed the cigarette paper under the pad between the saxophone and the key itself so I won't do that because it's impossible to see on camera really sorry I will choose a different key here is one here is another one I'm just using this one here on the back of my sax as an example for your sticky G sharp key it's this one in here so what you need to do open the open the pad stick the paper in and like sandpaper that will stick that will stick that will go in and then you just simply pull it out again so using my fingers it might be a bit a bit easier here is the pad on the, the sticky G sharp key here is the saxophone ordinarily it's closed you press the key the G sharp key it should open and it closes and opens and closes. so what I'm suggesting is you manually poke your finger underneath so it opens stick a cigarette rolly in and then pull it out gently open it again close it with the cigarette wrapper in pull it out the cigarette wrapper acts as like a little sandpaper it cleans off the crud it cleans off the gunk it cleans off the fluff it cleans off the chunky bits it absorbs the moisture it also acts as sandpaper to very 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 light sandpaper do not use normal sandpaper pull it out give it a few times close it open it close it open it and that will more than likely solve your sticky G sharp key issue if that is a problem for you my name is Matthew you are a rock star because you play the saxophone thank you very much for joining me here in this very quick and apologies very clumsy sticky G sharp key fix lesson thank you for visiting howtoplaythesax.com if you are not a member, please join me. I can help you with beginner saxophone lessons inside the members area at howtoplaythesax.com. Thank you, and I'll see you inside the members area. Thanks.